Today we will go for complement system. First of all, we must be we must be thinking for the complements. Complements are actually some non-specific proteins present in human serum. They are actually present in normal circulation, but it's present in inactive form. So when they are act activated or induced by some antigen antibody complex. So complement acts upon the human body in two pathways. Classical pathway and alternative pathway have already written that. You can see classical pathway it is induced by antigen antibody complex. You can see here classical pathway is induced or activated by antigen antibody complex. And here alternative pathway this is activated by endotoxin or the LPS or the lipopolysaccharides here actually. No specific antibody is required for the alternative pathway. But in classical pathway, important is specific antibodies and mainly IgG and IgM antibodies are necessary for the classical pathway. So here I have already written, this is the easy step to remember complement system in 5 minutes just, just 5 minutes. C, you have to remember only C1, C4, C2. These 3 numbers you have to remember C1, C4, C2. C4, C2. Actually what happens in classical pathway? C1, complement 1. When it is attached with the antibody, C1 has three types C1Q, C1R, and C1S. S. So, when this C1Q is attached with the antibody and uh, it activates C1R and uh, simultaneously CS. So, so, when C1S is activated, it activates C4. C4 this is C4 is divided into or splits into C4A and C4B in which C4A joins the cascade or the cascade means this is the series of reactions. Next, this C4B activates C2. You know that C2. This when C4B attaches with this C2 or the activate C2 complement 2, it forms C3 convertage. C3 convertage is formed. C3 convertage the name suggests C3 is split into C3A and C3B in which C3B joins the cascade means those reactions the next repeatedly functions. Next, it, when it is attached with C3B, it forms C5 convertage. And C5, when, when it splits into C5A and C5B, then it attaches with C6, C7, C8 and C9 to form membrane injury or the membrane attack complex here. From C5B to C9. Actually, See here you can see this is the recognition phase. Recognition phase means when complement attaches with the antibody, it recognizes the antibody, and so um, it, this is called the recognition phase. But in a, from C5 to formation of membrane injury, this is the attack phase. Means complement is totally activated and it is uh, it is produced and immune cytolysis can occur. But in alternative pathway. What happens here? No specific antibody is required for this alternative pathway. This only endotoxins like polysaccharides or yeast cellular is necessary for the alternative pathway. Here, nothing is required, no specific antibody is required, only C3B is the activator, or when it is attached with this type of activators like endotoxins or the like polysaccharides, on the presence of factor B, it forms C3B. On the presence of factor B, it forms C3BB. So, on, and also at the same time, on the uh, presence of factor D, it forms C3B. So, it form, this is the C3 convertage here. Next thing, as that of the classical pathway from C3 convertage, this is similar as that of the classical pathway. C3 convertage, next C3 is split into C3A and C3B. And this, on the uh, C3B attached, it forms C5 convertage and C5 is split into C5A and C5B to form next C6. C7, C8, C9 is activated by which membrane attack complex is formed and immunocytolysis occurs. So this is the two pathways of the complement system. And the uh, first one is the classical pathway and alternative pathway. I have already told you. But uh, you have to remember from C3 convertase to membrane attack complex. Two pathways are same, similar. But from uh, classical pathway in which uh, only C1, C4, C2 is required. But in the alternative pathway, C3B factor B factor D is required. Only this is the difference between classical pathway and alternative pathway. But uh, both of these are similar in uh, from C3 convertase to membrane injury.